That sounds nice. Let's go explore it. Okay. It's been sent. I feel like it's a very well-rounded day. And, oh my gosh, I think I just came through. <gasps> I want to do this more. It's been great. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel for a Monday, Tuesday vlog. It's Monday morning. I was just on hold with my bank for forever and I just hung up on them. <laughs> Cause I was like, I want to start the vlog. This is taking so long. I'll try them again later. I did the thing yet again today where I woke up at like started work at seven and it's now 11. So I've already done four hours of all of my little computer work for the day. And I feel really good about now being able to go out and do fun things with y'all. I invited Jacqueline too. I texted her and I was like, Hey, are you bored? She was like, I am always bored. And I was like, want to hang out and go on a vlog adventure? And she was like, always, absolutely, yes. We're gonna do that in about an hour. I'm just gonna do like breakfast before we go. And um, tonight, Jordi is still in Texas and I have a lot of Texas friends that are like, hey, we wanna meet Jordi, which I totally get. And I was like, how do I have all 40 of these friends meet Jordi um, in the week and a half that he's around. <laughs> so I just invited everybody to come hang out at Central Machine Works tonight. I think a lot of people are busy, but now it's like I've extended an invitation and whoever's around can come hang with us. So we're going to do like drinks outdoors at a brewery tonight um, for everyone to get a chance to meet him. And I'm looking forward to that. There's something that I started doing in January and have been pretty good about doing, I would say four to five days a week. My goal is to remember all seven days of the week, but that's really good for me actually to remember five days a week. And that is taking AG1 by Athletic Greens in the morning. And I'm so excited because I've been praying and hoping that I'd get to work with them one day and the time has finally come, I get to work with them. And as someone with a nutrition degree, when I was reading about all of the different vitamins and minerals inside of AG1, I was blown away. I also thought this might not taste very good. So when I got to try it, I was like, okay, wait, this actually tastes so much better than I was expecting it to. Um, I just put a scoop in water like this, shake it up, and my hack is I drink it really fast. It has almost kind of, almost kind of a vanilla-y taste to it in my opinion. It has 75 different vitamins and minerals and whole food source ingredients. And this is the type of thing to where I'm like, okay, I know I've got all of my micronutrients in for the day if I take this. There's a lot of reasons that I really like it nutritionally. A couple is immunity. It helps to support your immune function, um, which is something that I look for and also, Something I've struggled with a lot my whole life is nutrient absorption. It's very common in people with celiac disease and this actually has digestive enzymes in it that help aid the nutrient absorption and helps your body take it all in, which is something I really need. Chug it real quick. Mm hmm I do have a link and that's gonna get you a little bit of a free gift, which is awesome. It's athleticgreens.com slash Mikhail Dancy. And that's gonna get you five travel packs. I should show you what they look like. And these awesome vitamin D immunity drops. This, this is a year supply of vitamin D. And then you get five of these, which are so handy to travel with. Throw in a bag. Um, Jordy has stolen some of these from me before because he's like, this is awesome for tour. <laughs> also, just a side note, I'm just now realizing that it's almost time for my refill. Can you see? I'm almost out. <laughs> oh no. It's very friendly. It's vegan friendly, paleo friendly, keto friendly, Mikel friendly. <laughs> so I'm gonna have that link and all that information down in the description box. But thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring me and working with me on this video. Love AG1, have been hoping for this day for eight months. And it's just a dream and a joy. And now I can say I have had a good amount of vitamins and minerals for the day. I'm gonna get cute, get out of my little loungy set and make a game plan with Jacqueline. So Jacqueline got here. Hey. <laughs> uh, the most liked comment in my last vlog were people begging you to start your own channel. Thanks for hyping me up guys. <laughs> I know you have like a really cool professional adult job lined up, but if you ever don't wanna do that, I think you should. Fine, I think y'all might hate my content. <laughs> No, oh, your content would be very good. It'd be like Emma Chamberlain-esque to where it's like a little bit chaotic, but in a way that everybody likes, you know? I am very scatterbrained. Um, but we were about to head out for lunch and I just got a big text from my real estate agent. Here, let's, <laughs> let's sit down. So I got the text from my real estate agent. I ended the last vlog saying there's another house 
that I like a lot. Like I actually walked in and was like, I, I really like this house. So I put an offer in on it and they countered and then I countered and we just found out there's another offer on the table. So they asked for my best and final, which is still 20K under their listing price after they cut it a lot. So I'm waiting to sign my best and final offer before we head out and we might know today if they accept it or not. Big stuff. I've been praying. I'm like, God, if this if this isn't meant to be, if this isn't smart for me to do right now, please don't let it work out. But if it is, then I'm game. I love living here, but mm -hmm. running the numbers of like what my rent is gonna be raised to, it's smart to put that money towards equity if I can, and I can, um, but I wanna live near you for as long as possible. But also, come September 30th when you start your job, we probably won't be able to hang out very much. I've never seen you again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's okay. Oh my gosh, I think it just came through. <gasps> no, it is. It's, no. it's an email from Equilibria. Okay. And then we're going to go to lunch and just pray. Yes. At least I will. <laughs> it is 12.52 and I just got an update that they need my counter offer. Buy one. We're having a counter party with Jordy and Jacqueline. Woo! Chips and, and guac, guac <laughs> Because we were supposed to go get lunch an hour ago and did not expect this to happen. Good. I'm a little intimidated so by good. this process. They're probably trying to put something like super sneaky in I here. I know. So that you sign it in eight Cause minutes. no way could I read all 11 pages of this in seven minutes. Okay, it's been sent. Let's Woo! go get lunch and see the future of Why my page. Why did log in? Uh, I think it's sent. I'll double check. <laughs> <laughs> We drove 30 minutes to a lunch spot that I had found on Instagram and then Jacqueline has been here and she was like, it is so cute and it's worth a drive. It's on the water. It's called Ski Shores Cafe and they just redid it. So it's like retro vibes. I think that they're closed for more renovations today. So we could walk up yeah, and it's so cute double, though. double check that they are for sure closed. Oh, they have mom and dad's like retro folding chairs. It's so cute. It really is quite the vibe. It really is. Maybe we can look for ourselves and show you guys at least what it looks like. At least we ate the guac. We can at least like maybe walk on the dog too. That sounds nice. Let's go explore. They are closed. They are doing repairs, but they said we could walk around and look. So here, pickleball. We grew up with those lawn chairs. Um, they have so many. They were so proud of them. They like, they probably got them before they were married, don't you think? Yeah, they've used them <laughs> for a long time. Life. And now they're back. Now they're trendy again. And then this is like a really cute kids play area. Show us what you got, JJ. Wow, sick. Oh, but look how beautiful this is. I'll flip y'all around and show you too. This would have been so lovely. We we gotta come back here for lunch. We do. I'll My favorite part is there's like this retro neon sign like on the... Oh, is it this right here? No. Ski shores? That one is cool too. There's this little sandy beach with cornhole. That's so cute. And then, is this not so picturesque? Yeah, they have this like whole grassy area over here. And then you can, I wonder if you live across the way, if you can just pull your boat up here to eat. Yes. Can you? Mm -hmm. And look at that old Ski Shores Cafe sign. Oh, I guess we got to find another lunch option, but we're kind of in the middle of nowhere now. We got it. Yeah, <laughs> I promise you lunch. I will get you lunch. That was our plan, we'll make it happen. lunch I got this is like a dill and yogurt um, what are these cucumbers and then a like spicy feta mint watermelon Jacqueline got a side <laughs> a side of pasta because well no the menu said like oh you can get a quarter of a registered chicken for eight dollars so she's like great I'll make it a meal with a side of pasta but then it came out with like all the fixings dinner just left lunch and Jacqueline was like, oh, down the street is the tiny little outdoor voices and they're having a sale right now. And I was like, what? There's, these are literally like houses 
that are shops. Just like that's that that is outdoor voices. Um, um, something kind of embarrassing though is I literally came here a couple days ago and bought a lot of things. And you're wearing. And now I'm just wearing a full outfit. I'm about to walk <laughs> in here. Outdoor voice. You're you're a real fan. Okay. Yeah. Construction said we're done. We love a little drill noise. Everyone's. That's not a drill. That's definitely not a drill. Um, a uh, saw, Mikhail. A table saw. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jacqueline's trying on a little fashion show. Let's see. Let's see in the mirror. Is it like Ooh. too spunky or kind of fun? To it's not It's not too spunky at all. Let me see the front. Like, does this look like it's out of place? Or? No. I think it's cute. Yeah. 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 I've spent way too much money. Oh, fun. that's okay. Ah, ah! I just saw two texts from my real estate agent. And so, um, Jacqueline pulled out the camera. Very sweet. But I think I'm going to pull over because I'm at a red light right now and find a spot to read it. But I also feel like if she texted me, it's bad news or it's not good. I feel like if, if she's like, you got the house, she'd call me, right? Yeah, maybe it's like, oh, we're still waiting to hear or all I don't of know. a sudden I just felt my stomach just like, no. I'm going to pull over in the city of Austin, one Texas center. Don't know where big is. things happen. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to open it. Do it. Just called you back, left you a voicemail, been on the phone, going over both offers. Then I had to jump on a broker call while they looked over the seller. They were not going back and forth. They've decided to go with the other offer, mainly because the cash down was stronger and made them feel more at ease with the financials. Oh, So sorry. Sorry. Sad. That's okay. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> but they didn't even have this other offer till today. I yeah, was, it's crazy that because it's been on the market. If I just accepted their counter, it would hey, have been you can't mine. think that way. Yeah, I can't think that way. It was a mystery. There's a ton of homes in East Austin, and for some reason, they all have the little back house. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Thanks that's for getting along for the journey. Well, thank you for filming the heartbreak journey. <laughs> well, to be honest, I was including a lot of this house in this vlog because I kind of felt in my gut that this one would work out because I was trying to take emotions out of it and I walked into this house and I was like, oh, I really like this one. And the other houses I'd seen, I was like, this makes financial sense, you know? So it was just like a different kind of posture of my heart, I think. And I was like, maybe since I feel like I actually had a connection with this one, it would work out. And there's something, just in case something changes, I'm not gonna share the exact thing, but there's something very serendipitous about the address. But I would love to know, obviously, like this process is still gonna continue because I'm still gonna look. If this is fun to include in vlogs, if it's fun to see a little bit of the Austin real estate market, or if it's like, Mikhail, this is too much like, oh, oh. I could just, you know, include the ones that get further along in the process if that's the case. So let me know your thoughts. Um, my afternoon computer work phase has officially commenced. I have probably another three or so hours. Uh, I'm gonna knock that out right in time for drinks tonight with friends and Jordy, and so that's something else to look forward to. So I think my heart's a little closed off right now, but if I opened it up, it would be feeling more feelings, but it's okay. Now some of the travel I had planned isn't gonna conflict with anything, and that is nice, because I wanna be young and dumb in my 20s right now for a little bit and like travel and do all that kind of stuff. What are we off to do? To hang with every friend. <laughs> I invited 21 friends, not including their significant others Whoa. or some of them children. Wow. But I think like less than half. You texted come. a bunch of children. I did. And um, the place I first planned is closed on Mondays. So we've quickly pivoted. We're going to a place I've never been called Easy Tiger. It's yet another just beer garden. People can get drinks, people can get nothing. Um, and so we're gonna go a little early to stake out a table. We're having a party. We're having a party and you're very kind to be willing to meet literally all of my friends at one time. It's highly efficient. I'm it is highly it. efficient, but also could be highly intimidating. It'd be great. I'm excited. It'd be fun. We're off.
Good morning. It is a little after 11 Tuesday. I've loved my new morning routine of starting work at seven and then working like seven to 11 and then just being able to focus on vlogging. It's so nice to kind of like batch your mindset so you don't feel as frazzled between like, I wanna talk and do things with y'all, but oh no, these tasks are coming through on my computer. Um, and that's really helped me feel a little bit more, I just started this like a week ago, but a little bit more inner peace, which has been awesome. Made this little granola bowl and last time I was at Whole Foods, I made it an impulse produce buy of golden berries. They're kind of like a tomato meets a grape. Last night was great. I, I just invited the most random group of people and a lot of people didn't know each other, but they all left friends, which made my heart happy. We played ping pong, we played cornhole. It was a really fun little setup. And today, um, I just, you know, completed a good chunk of work. I wanna go to the grocery store. I'm trying to see if Jacqueline and Mark wanna work out with Jordy and I tonight, do another like sibling workout hang. And then I think that Jordy's gonna come over with his friend that's in town and we're just gonna cook in, which is also very fun because I've been eating out a lot, too much, too much lately. <laughs> and I'm really craving just like home cooked food slash not spending money on food out. So that's the plan, this is so good. Taking Max out on a little nature stroll by the water as a, as a way to get out for the day, but the water is weirdly clear. I haven't seen it like this, and you can like see the fish in the river lake. People refer to this as a lot of different things. Can you just see all the fish just hanging out down there? I don't know. Maybe that's not crazy if you don't live here, but it's new for sure. There's another one right there. Just living their best life. Max didn't want to go too far, which I totally get because it's pretty hot outside, but um, as I mentioned, a thing that I love about this phase of life and living in this apartment is the fact that Jacqueline's here. And in case I didn't explain this well in vlogs in the past, she has a break before her job starts. Her job starts September 30th and she will be working probably like 12. She's going to be a CPA doing audits at one of the big four. The schedule for that for the first few years is like, you work until midnight a lot of nights and you work Saturdays. So I know that come September 30th, I'm not gonna get to see her a lot. And we lived apart in different states for six years. So I'm like, this is my time to savor every minute and every second. So I'm trying to think of like errands I have to do or fun things I can do, a way to make it extra fun and to invite Jacqueline. And I'm just like, that is my goal for the next two months is to do that as much as possible. So I texted her and was like, hey, I need to go to Whole Foods to get stuff to grill with friends tonight. You wanna come and pick up a coffee on the way? And she's like, yep, absolutely. So the house not working out and things like that, I really didn't wanna miss this time with her and this like easy accessibility to her. And yeah, we'll still get to see each other when I don't live in the same building as her, but it's just so easy now for her to come downstairs and hang out with me. So um, I'm trying to focus on being thankful for that in this season because I know that this season will come to an end very rapidly. And if I can find a way to see her every day that I'm in town, I'll be a happy girl. Those are my goals. <laughs> I'm thinking we do coffee and then grocery. Oh. Max agrees. Perfect. And I want to show you a really cool spot that actually has some of the best coffee I've had in Austin. It's called Palomino. And we can get you to rate it. Someone that only likes Starbucks. Rate it and one out of ten. <laughs> and Duncan. And Duncan. So we can both get a coffee. We can okay. both rate it out of ten. So they can have okay. extremely Perfect. diverse opinions. Yes. Let's go. Oh, look. It's pretty much developed. That's well, me. it's not focusing. Yay! <laughs> so, what was your what was your thought on the vibe? Of, oh, the vibe was yeah. super cute, right? Like mm. Adobe exposed wood ceilings. I've taken the vlog only once there before, so I got a couple B roll. I've never really ventured around to the back where they have like a built-in Adobe record player lounge area which is very cool too. Yeah, no, that was super cool. Yeah, just like I would the, love to live in a house like that. All the good vibes, okay. Mm -hmm. Drink haul, what'd you get? I got the show pony. Which is? Which, I don't know why they called it that, because <laughs> it's just a vanilla latte. But vanilla bean. <laughs> yes, and I got oat milk in it, because I'm on an oat milk kick. kick. <laughs> yeah. Is it sweet, or is it just like fresh vanilla bean? It's a little sweet, but not oh. like insanely sweet. That's nice, okay. Yeah. What's your rating out of 10? I would say eight. Wow. Eight out, eight out of 10, really good. You normally don't like anything that's not Starbucks. Or Dunkin', <laughs> forget. <laughs> I got their matcha, I've never had their matcha before, so I did an iced oat matcha latte, and they whipped out the full matcha bowl, did it 
a very very good job. Yeah, of... they were like hand ground. Yeah, could you could you <laughs> yes. believe that they did a great it was like job? A, like a dust like wand, <laughs> a dust wand that's called a matcha whisk. <laughs> so they have real ceremonial grade matcha and house made lavender syrup and oat milk latte. And I clearly have had some sips, but it was just perfectly lightly sweet. I still don't get the I'm matcha. Still strong. You should try this. Try this. Yeah. I honestly, for matcha, I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Do you like lavender? Mm-mm. Oh. <laughs> it's like drinking a plant. Yeah, God gave us plants. Like maybe like the aloe vera plants. I think that's what it's like. Have you eaten aloe vera plants? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Whole Foods. I have everything on my list. Just egg, cookies. Tonight we're gonna make ice cream sandwiches and cookies. So I got these. Sweet Lawrence are the best. I also, I honestly don't like these as much, but people love them. So got that. Lemon, arugula, avocado, asparagus, fresh flowers, and my impulse buy figs. And these are awesome, awesome tortillas. And then down there, I got some gluten-free bread, oatly, and kombucha. We did it. And all Jacqueline needed was a garlic clove. <laughs> a very successful sister errand run. My heart's feeling very full. And I have exactly two hours. It is 3.30. I have until 5.30 when we're all going to go to the gym. Um, so I'm just going to get work done for the next two hours. But the next thing for the end of the vlog is going to be gym time with the siblings and then cook time here back at the apartment. And I feel like it's a very well-rounded day. I've been trying to focus on having more well-rounded days of like productivity, computer work, community time, moving my body, doing something very fulfilling. Um, and I think I've like checked all those boxes today, which makes me feel at peace. I want to do this more. It's been great. I look for you in everything that I see. I wonder if you ever find yourself still thinking about me. Thinking about me. Since you've been gone, I thought that I could move on And maybe learn how to actually love someone I'm not sure I can love We had a lovely night. You have good friends. Thanks. We got to hang with my friends so much and I love getting to hang with your friends too. I have a no filming day tomorrow, so I'm no, gonna end no. the vlog here. And we are gonna have a skateboarding date tomorrow night, which I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. Yeah. Was your day good? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's good. I worked on, saw my friends. Yeah. Made some steaks. Made some steaks. Made some ice cream sandwiches. I didn't get any footage of that. Oh. They were very good. They'll just have to imagine. Yeah, they will. They'll have to imagine. There's leftover cookies. What? I wanted to show. And that is a thank you to probably your favorite of all of my now sponsors. That's true. Which is Athletic Greens for partnering Athletic with me Greens. on this video. We're both big AG1 fans. I'm going to have my link down below that gets you a year supply of vitamin D for free and mm -hmm. five free travel packs. So I'm going to have that link down below. I hope you'll have the best rest of your day. And I think Jordy's going to be around for one more vlog. Yeah. So we'll see you in another video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign Just give me one more, talking to you Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here?